I have a problem. My world feels like it's crashing down around me. I'm just losing my mind. This tripod doesn't have any adjustment for up and down. But luckily for me, I have a shop full of tools and I can fix this problem. So recently my tripod had died on me. The attachment that the camera goes into, it snapped. And I could have ordered one of those new parts, but that tripod was kind of clumsy and to work with. Whenever I had to adjust the height, I had to fumble with the leg. I bought a new tripod. It's a lot heavier dutier. Heavier dutier? Duty. <laughs> it's a lot heavier than my old one, but to adjust it is a lot clumsier. It has all these little screws that I have to undo to, to raise and lower the legs. In my old tripod, it had a center post that I was able to quickly and easily adjust the height within you know, eight inches or so. And I kind of missed that. So I did some searching around on the internet. I came across a camera jib. Now camera jibs are used in Hollywood. They use them quite often for getting low shots and some really high shots and some really cool up and down shots. They're kind of neat, but I don't need one that big. I made one that's only 21 inches long and it gives me 36 inches of travel from up and down. Let's get into this build. So what I did was I went to my hardware store and I bought some square tube aluminum, streak quarter inch and then I found some angled aluminum and it's an eighth by one inch by one inch so let's head to the miter saw oh yeah that's the nice thing about working with aluminum is you can use woodworking tools to cut it so I'm going to use my miter saw to make all these cuts So after I cut all these pieces, I took a file and I filed off any sharp burrs that were left from the cutting. So what I have here is a three foot length of square tubing, 21 and three quarters of an inch square tubing. And then I have two seven inch long pieces of square tubing and two pieces of six inch angle and three pieces of three inch angle. And now it's time to drill some holes. And we want to mark them out a half an inch and then three and a quarter inches. So that will leave us with two and three quarters of an inch in between each hole. And I'm gonna drill this on the drill press because I want these nice and straight. And I'm gonna stack these two together like that. And I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole. So I just taped them together to keep them tight and even so that the holes line up perfectly. Right now our holes are all drilled. We're going to do some assembly work. It goes like this. So you gotta get the idea of how that's gonna work. It's gonna go down super low and go up super high. So I have it all bolted together. Off camera, I added some washers in between. I found that that made the operation of this a lot smoother. So next, I'm gonna add a piece of three inch angle on here like that. We're gonna put a quarter inch hole there and that is so that we can attach our camera mount. Now we got the, uh, the mounting plate for the camera mount done. Now we need to drill some holes and bolt these angle brackets on so that we can attach this to the tripod mount. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over a thousand classes for those people who are curious and creative. On Skillshare, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in new creativity. I was scrolling through their thousands of classes and I came across a whole bunch on woodworking. They have videos on how to set up your own wood shop, how to sharpen chisels, and how to build your own furniture. So one of my hobbies that goes along with my love of woodworking is filmmaking, hence the reason why I am making YouTube videos. And I'm shooting with a DSLR camera, it's a mirrorless, and I always tend to use the auto feature, and I've been wanting to get away from that, wanting to shoot more in manual and learning my camera some more. So recently on Skillshare, I started learning from Joey Bettenbrook on how to shoot video in manual mode. And I have learned lots from that man, he is very knowledgeable. 
On Skillshare, there is no ads and they are always launching new premium classes. It is less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So here's the finished project. I had to uh, pull out my GoPro to film with because obviously I wanted to show you what it looked like with my camera on and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I didn't show you how I mounted it to my tripod because everyone has different tripods. You can also use speaker stands and, and stuff like that but um, everyone, everyone's tripod is gonna be different, but all I did was I put a bolt up through the base plate of my tripod, and then I added a piece of metal here, and a bolt going through it, and I tightened it down. So that does the trick to hold it in place. And as far as attaching the camera, I just stole a thumb screw from another tripod mount that I had, and I just threaded it on there. I'd like to maybe get a quick release mount for this so that I can take it off and on when I want, but for now, this will do the trick. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.